One of the questions I get asked is when and how do we do a firmware update on our mixing console? Do we need it? Will it help? Absolutely. Uh, you really need to keep up with the firmware on a regular basis. And it's not that complicated, although there are a couple steps to really be mindful of. And so we'll step you through those. The first thing we want to do, though, is go to the website. You can Google Yamaha TF series updates or firmware updates, and it'll take you right to that page. As a matter of fact, let me show you those pages and a couple things that you'll want to go through with those. This is the firmware update page that you will find on the Yamaha website. Uh, this is what it looks like, and if you scroll down partway, you will see this box, and this is the firmware update that you want to download. If you look just below that box, just below the firmware download, you will see another little link, and it's actually the manual for how to do this whole process, and I would encourage you to click on that. and. Uh, here is what that looks like, at least the top of the page here. This is the beginning of the manual, and this is really helpful. And one of the first things I want to do is come up here and kind of take a look, and I'm going to click on About, and this is going to tell me my version of firmware that we have currently on the mixing console. This is 3.5, and I believe the latest version is 4.5. So that's our first step. We've determined we need this, so I'm going to close this. And then I'm going to reach back and just shut off the mixing console because that's our next step. So the next step is to put the firmware on the flash drive, and then we'll bring it back to the mixing console. So let's go there next, and then we'll come back. One of the other things real quick I wanted to follow up on is with the firmware update, it comes in a file folder. So when you're ready, you move that file folder to your flash drive, but then take the actual firmware update out of the folder so it's at the very top level or the root directory, if you will. That way when you plug it in, the mixer might see that file folder, but it sees the firmware update and it'll take off from there. If it's buried in the folder, it won't find it. Okay, so we've loaded the firmware on our flash drive. And now I'm going to plug that into the mixing console. And of course, make sure you read through the instructions because uh, I, I'm just following the instructions, but you want to make sure you've covered every base along the way. Okay, so we've got our flash drive in here. And our next step is now I want to turn the power back on. And it's going through its standard startup routine. Okay, so... We have the flash drive in there with the firmware and this window comes up and it says uh, update firmware question mark current 3.5 new 4.5 and we are going to hit update. Now it's, it's critical that we don't do anything to the mixing console. Don't power it off. Don't try to hit any buttons. Just let it do its thing. This can take a few minutes, but the idea is to just let it completely do uh, it's routine here without touching anything. It'll continue to just say updating here in the window. And we're back. And it's saying updating. And here again, it's saying don't turn off the mixer. Don't do anything while it's updating. Update finished. Uh, remove the flash drive and restart the mixer. Okay, so we're back here. I'm going to restart now. I gave it just a few seconds there. We are, we are good. We did the firmware update. Now let's go back. We can hit this, go to about, and we are at 4.5. So everything was a success. Well, I hope that was helpful. I know we kind of condensed down the timeline as far as you know the mixer takes much longer to do the actual update and it takes longer even just to restart and i tried to cut all that out so that we had just the the meat of what we're doing thank you so much for checking out this video and i hope that was helpful 
If you have any other questions or comments or thoughts, feel free to contact us. Email us, give us a call, check us out on our website. Thank you so much.